Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore this tiny device. This one is very similar to one of the device I have reviewed previously. And that one is this. From the back cover, it's really hard to distinguish which device is which. So on my right hand side, we have Nokia N9. And on my left hand side, we have Nokia Lumia 800. Both of them released pretty much similar time. Nokia N9 was released for Nokia Lumia 800. Both of them looks pretty similar uh, from the behind, from the top, and from the bottom, and also from the side. Nokia Lumia 800 got a shutter button, which is very typical to Lumia devices back then. So it got a shutter button. Rather than that, they're physically pretty much similar. Now, in the front, as you can see, the display also similar actually but lumia 800 got soft buttons here but on nokia we got full skin gesture so there is no soft buttons and also in front of nokia n9 we got a vga front camera and rather than that both of them same and the display is actually interchangeable i did try that like a lumia 800 display i did try on my nokia n9 and the display works actually and the buttons works as a display actually and you can see the display behind the button soft button so both of the display actually interchangeable so today we are going to explore this device and not nokia 9 so nokia lumia 800 released back in 2011 uh, it's a pretty decent device back then it got 512 mb of ram and 1.4 giga single core processor with 16 gig of internal storage and the processor here is actually snapdragon processor so it's pretty fast and fluent and the display is actually oled panel so it looks very beautiful even today's standard it does look beautiful now the main issue with this device right now is that app support as you know windows phone are long dead although if you are using a windows 8.1 device or 8 device or windows 10 device you still can do something with that device but with this you can't really do much so going with the about section so as you can see here this device is running on windows 7.8 and the device i have here is a chinese variant so it's 800c and the carrier as, as you can see china telecom so because of that i can't really use sim card on this device right now but if you get a device which is globally released you can still use sim card if you are in asian country because this device does support 3g so there will be no issue with phone call and messaging and as you can see the display looks pretty sharp and as a OLED panel the background is inky black going back so the setting layout is pretty much similar to windows 8 or 8.1 devices so as you can see here pretty much similar and going with the ringtone so we do have ringtone but the design layout is a little different than windows 8.1 devices so nokia tone let me increase the volume so there are few more and we do have glow pretty nice so speaker quality of this device is not really great like other nokia devices it's not really that loud and also not really that clear but what are you going to do with this speaker right now so it still works and theme we do get dark theme here so system wide dark theme available on this device from 2011 so that's really good actually so we can go to light section as you can see here it does look beautiful actually so it does have wi-fi and the wi-fi only support 2.4 gigahertz as you can see already connected and there is no notification panel on this device on 7.8 the notification panel introduced in windows 8.1 actually so there is no notification panel as you can see if you swipe it will show you the sim status and wi-fi status so rather than that nothing much will show and the wi-fi is connected the bluetooth is still work and you can use this device as a hotspot too and if you go to lock and wallpaper you can choose picture and the wallpapers are actually pretty similar to what you will get with nokia n9 so they are pretty similar all these wallpapers are available on nokia n9 too so they are pretty similar and going with other things like you can set password on this device too and mobile data as i said doesn't work there is location option too this device got gps but the maps here actually is outdated so it is not really usable anymore battery saver date and time and brightness so it does got auto brightness so 
of the brightness as you can see the display get pretty bright and uh, ultra brightness so it looks good actually the display is still looking pretty good and there is find my phone option and phone update which doesn't work anymore rather than that nothing much going on and if you swipe right section so there are background tasks what is running on so you can see so xbox live is there but there is nothing there actually no games available and internet explorer setting and other settings are there going back in the home screen as you can see it's pretty typical home screen layout but there nothing much you can do on this home screen actually in 7.8 you can't really do much you can make them big or small and that's it what you can do nothing much in terms of other devices like windows 8.1 and windows 10 you can make folder and you can put a lot of icons nothing much you can do on 7.8 so if you swipe all the applications are here as i said this device is a chinese variant so there are few chinese application here i don't really know what are those and what are those for and going with other things so now what you can do with this device as i said windows phones are long that if you have like windows 8.8.1 .8 or windows 10 device still you can do something with those devices like you can side load application apps and games and play them but on this device you can't really do much so one thing you can do you can listen to the music there are two music application here actually first of all we got nokia music so it's pretty much similar to what we get with windows phone 8 or 8.1 my music and we can check all the songs I have here. Let me play a song. And this is the loudest it can go. So that's pretty much it of what you get with the speaker quality and there is another application which is called music and video which is actually pretty much similar to zoom so if you know about microsoft zoom i did review a zoom and the ui is pretty much similar to zoom as you can see here pretty similar to zoom you can go to music section you can see all the song the ui is a little different as you can see here and i really like this ui rather than that the old one that's what you are getting but now the main issue with this device as i said marketplace is not working and you can't really do much but in terms of like copying file here or music here it's a little difficult because when you connect this device to your pc it will not directly show as a storage device where you can copy and paste files so you need microsoft zoom application to copy music on this device or photos or videos otherwise you can't really do that so after installing Microsoft Zoom desktop software, you can copy files here. And after that, you can listen to music. It got 16 gig of internal storage. And going with the browsing, so this device is connected to Wi-Fi. The browser is here. So let's try to browse something. So whenever you try to browse something, it will show you this page where you have to continue because the browser is outdated. So it doesn't know what to do with the, this kind of page. One thing about Windows Phone, I always say the keyboard. It's really amazing. Even still, I love this keyboard more than any keyboard available on any kind of devices. So it's amazing keyboard. So now let's go to google.com. The way the UI is works pretty nice actually. So going to the Google section. So as you can see, it's pretty fast in terms of opening Google. Rather than that, other things it can't do much actually so as you can see the it did open and if i try to open facebook it will asking me to like continue and i can still browse facebook here the older version of it and going with the youtube so let's try to play like try to browse youtube i i did try it but it didn't work actually so going to the youtube section and as you can see here it is trying to open youtube even the latest like windows device also cannot really do much with youtube it's really difficult for this kind of device so it will stuck like this youtube doesn't work on this device and that's what you are getting with the browsing section right now and one more thing you can do you can take picture but for my device the camera doesn't work so as you can see here it try to focus 
and the camera does not work by the way it got 8 megapixel camera which is pretty decent for back then actually it's pretty high quality camera and also the lens here actually Carl's eyes so there will be less reflection and the camera is actually pretty good and it can shoot up to 720p video so that's a pretty good camera but there is no front facing camera on this device so in terms of usability of this device right now although it looks pretty nice four things you can still do first of all you can do phone call and second you can do messaging there will be no issue with those things and you can listen to the music and if you really want you can take some picture with this device and it's really good actually the picture quality is really good i did try it on my nokia n9 because they got pretty much similar camera so camera quality is pretty good rather than that nothing much you can do with this device it's a pretty cute device and i really like this device this is for my collection as you can see here the sim tray and charging section is here it got a micro usb port and the 3.5 mm headphone jack is here and to open the sim card tray you have to push it like this and it will open the sim card tray so pretty nice design and it still looks good and the design is still looks pretty so that's all about nokia lumia 800 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one